Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the MAC Luster Glass in Love Nectar. And the reason why I start, I decided to get it is because Juicy Star 07, in her MAC starter kit, she mentioned it, how it's her like go-to lip product from MAC, and she really likes it. And I tried it on at the store, and everything about it I really liked, so I got it. And, um, and so it's one of my favorite lip products so far from MAC. This is what it looks like. And it is an ultra soft apricot with pearl. What I really like about it is that it is not too nude and not too pinky. Because I really like my nude lips. But sometimes they're so nude that they cancel the lips out. They make me washed out. They make me look gross. So this is like the perfect. It's kind of in between like a nude and a pink. So it's the perfect color. And it does have the little gold shimmer. Um, yeah. Go little gold specks as you can see the gold specks all over the product and it's not like chunky glitter and things like that so once the gloss wears out it's the the um the shimmer or the glitter is not going to be lingering on your lips which i don't like this so this is perfect and it does last quite a bit of time because it's kind of a bit tacky. It's not as tacky as um, MAC lip glasses, but it um it is kind of a bit tacky, so it won't transfer as easily. So if you were to drink, it will kind of if you put it over some lipstick, um your lip gloss, the, some of the glossiness might transfer onto your cup when you're drinking or something like that. But it does pretty much stay on your lips because it's tacky again, so it doesn't like transfer as much. And uh, this is what the um, applicator looks like. It is the um, brush tip applicator. And I personally don't prefer the brush tip applicators. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because the way the brushes are made. But when they go on my lips, they go on really streaky. And I don't really like that. I know it can like get into the corners of your mouth when the, when the doe foot applicators can. So it looks more full. And you can get like, you can outline your lips and things like that. But I really don't like the... Um, the brush tip because they um they go on really streaky and you have to take extra time to do it but um i try i manage and i try to make it work but it would be like the perfect perfect lip product if it was like a doe foot applicator because i love 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 this color and it is 4.8 mil so it's a good size for a lip product you might think that this looks kind of small um but uh it actually is quite a, a good size because most lipsticks are that size too. I have a Remmel one right here and it is four grams. How many mils? I don't know. So this that um this uh Remmel lipstick right here, which is a normal lipstick, which is about the same size as this. Like the product in here is about the same amount of product it has in this MAC luster glass. So it's quite a normal um a normal amount even though it kind of looks small but I like how it does look small because it's easy to put in your purse or in your pocket and if you need to reapply throughout the day and things like that and yeah I hope this review really helps you if you're considering on getting um, MAC luster um, glass in love nectar but I really suggest you go to the MAC store and try it out they have all the stuff there you can try them out because I, because it depends on your skin tone. Even though you think you have the same skin tone as I am, I'm NC25 by the way. It might not look the same on you. Because I was on Temptalia.com the other day, looking at some um, lip swatches she did, and when I tried them on my lips, they look totally different. And she has the same exact skin tone as me. She's she's NC25 as well. So it really depends on the person. So if you have a Mac store, even a Mac like counter, go and check it out. But I really suggest you try it out. It's Luster Glass Love Nectar from MAC. So, I hope this review helps, and I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.